Here's what's making cannabis headlines today. Weed MD reported financial results for the quarter ended June 30th, 2019. Q2 net revenue was $7.9 million. Net income was $12.9 million or 11 cents per share. At the end of the quarter, the company had cash and cash equivalents of 11.3 million. Indiva Limited reported financial results for the quarter ended June 30th, 2019. Q2 net revenue was $173,500. Net loss was 2.3 million or 3 cents per share. At the end of the quarter, the company had cash and cash equivalents of 3.9 million. Emerald Health Therapeutic Inc reported financial results for the quarter ended June 30th, 2019. Q2 net revenue was $4.6 million. Net loss was $0.5 million, or $0.03 cents per share. At the end of the quarter, the company had cash and cash equivalents of $2.6 million. Vivo Cannabis Inc. reported financial results for the quarter ended June 30th, 2019. Q2 net revenue was $5.3 million, Net loss was 13.8 million or 5 cents per share. At the end of the quarter, the company had cash and cash equivalents of $7.4 million. Tilt Holdings Inc. reported financial results for the quarter ended June 30th, 2019. Q2 net revenue was $7.9 million US. Net loss was $48.9 million US. At the end of the quarter, the company had cash and cash equivalents of $4.5 million US. Green Thumb Industries Inc. reported financial results for the quarter ended June 30th, 2019. Q2 revenue was $44.7 million US. Net loss was $22.2 million US, or 12 cents per share. At the end of the quarter, the company had cash and cash equivalents of $135.8 million US. Biome Grow Inc. released consolidated financial statements for the second quarter and first half of fiscal 2019. Revenue in Q2 was $1.35 million, approximately four times the level realized in Q1. Net loss and comprehensive loss for the period was $770,000 or one cent per share. Halo Labs Incorporated announced it has entered into a letter of intent with respect to the proposed investment by Halo of 1.33 million common shares of Ukiah Ventures Inc. This equals an approximate 17.5% ownership interest in exchange for 5.94 million common shares of Halo. UVI is a cannabis distribution processing and manufacturing company providing biomass procurement and value-added services such as drying, trimming, packaging, freezing and storing cannabis. Chiron Life Sciences Corporation has entered into an exclusive endorsement agreement with the Colombian Association of Gerontology and Geriatrics CAGG is a scientific and professional association dedicated to the advancement of health and social services for aging populations and geriatric patients at all levels of care. The endorsement agreement with CAGG will see the Chiron Medical Leadership Team present at the association's annual medical congress as a part of a year-long exclusive agreement that also includes outreach programs with healthcare professionals focused on seniors' care. 48 North Cannabis Corporation has closed the definitive agreement to acquire Rare Industries Inc., or Quill. Quill is a U.S. multi-state vape technology brand with product distribution in Oregon and Washington and near-term expansion plans for California and Nevada. High Tide Inc. announced that the Cana Cabana retail stores located in Calgary and Edmonton received their first deliveries of cannabis products from Alberta Gaming, Liquor and Cannabis. The company currently has 21 branded Cana Cabana locations selling recreational cannabis products across Canada, inclusive of the new stores. Tilray Inc. announced it has entered into a definitive agreement pursuant to acquire all of the issued and outstanding securities of 420 Investments Limited. 420 is an adult-use cannabis retail operator headquartered in Calgary, Alberta, 
operating six licensed retail locations. Tilray will deliver up to $110 million, consisting of $70 million in Tilray Class II common stock at closing and $40 million in common stock subject to the achievement of certain performance milestones by 420. And that's your news for today. For all the latest cannabis news, visit the Cannabis Daily on MidasLetter.com.